Hey everyone, this video was originally created by me on a separate channel, but unfortunately it is no longer on that channel, so I've decided to re-upload it here. For all of you new guys who haven't been on a channel before, please subscribe if you find this useful. We will be doing more stuff like this in the future, so thanks and enjoy the video. Hey everyone, this will be my multi-part tutorial series on Wii soft modding. In this first video, I'm going to teach you how to soft mod your Wii. And in order to do this, you are going to or you're going to need an SD card. It can be uh, any SD card, regardless of what you might have heard. Some people th uh, thought that you uh, needed a two gigabyte or less, or an SDHC or a non SDHC card, but that's not true. You can use any SD card you want. We're using the letter bomb exploit, so uh, it does not have to uh, be two gigabytes or under. It can be anything. I'm using a 32 gigabyte myself. You need a Wii, obviously. Uh, you need a internet connection, and uh, your Wii needs to be connected to that, obviously. And um, you need a brain, obviously. <laughs> so, uh, oh, another thing you'll need is a way to access your SD card on your computer. Most desktops do not come with uh, SD card slots. However, you can purchase a SD card reader at Walmart or any other store. They're pretty cheap. They're only about five bucks, maybe maybe less um, and they basically plug into a USB slot and then you stick the USB card in the back so uh, some laptops have SD card readers in like built in but they're not very common on desktops so find find a card reader and uh, f or some way to read your SD card and uh, I guess now we can begin first what we want to do is find out what version of the Wii firmware you have and also your MAC address so let's go to Wii Wii settings and then go over to internet well actually first your version is right here 4.3 and then your region code I live in the US so mine is you uh, you need to be on version 4.3 uh, as of now the latest version is 4.3 so you can use the official Wii updates to get to that version you can update your system right here Wii system update now, as for your MAC address, you can get it right here, console information. Mine is going to be blurred out because uh, there's actually an exploit that allows you to ban someone if you know their MAC address or their Wii MAC address. So uh, don't share this information. It's actually quite dangerous if someone else had skills and they knew your MAC address. So just keep this up on the screen or write it down on a piece of paper and let's go over to the computer. Okay, now that we have our MAC address, we're going to go ahead and put our mod files on our SD card. And then we're going to do the exploit. So I've provided a mod file package in the description below. Go ahead and download that, and we're going to put all of those files on the SD card. Um, this package is prepared specifically for the Wii version 4.3, so do not use any other type of Wii. If you have a Wii that's not on 4.3, go to a different tutorial or update it, because you can literally brick your Wii if you try something uh, that does not work on the lower versions okay so update it or get out of here anyways um, let's go ahead and drag those files over to our SD card before you drag the files over though we're gonna wanna make sure that this is file system FAT32 so make sure it says FAT32 if it doesn't you can format it by right clicking and doing format uh, this is Windows only by the way if you have something else um, then uh, you can use a format tool. You can get those on the internet. So FAT32, 32, 32 kilobyte unit size, uh, volume label, name it what you want. I go with Wii because it's recognizable. Go ahead and start. Uh, it'll be pretty fast if it's a, a new SD card, but if you have files on it, then it'll go really slow. By the way, you should back up your files beforehand because otherwise they'll get uh, cleaned off. <laughs> Sorry and it'll take a few seconds to transfer those files but once they're on there then you're good to go now we're gonna do the exploit open up your favorite browser and type in please dot hack me with two eyes dot com and just put in that MAC address right here and then select system menu version uh, matching your region I have 4.3 U unclick bundle the hack me installer we already have that so unclick that and then type in uh, this captcha in order to prove that you're not a robot and then cut either the red wire or the blue wire that doesn't matter it's just a clever ruse on their part I've already down I've, I've already uh, clicked one of these and it gave me 
uh, this. It's a letter bomb zip and it provides you a specifically uh, created file for you called private. And you want to drag that private folder over into your SD card. And once that's in there, you have all of the files you need to now mod your Wii. Um, that exploit basically just sent a, sent a message to your Wii, and we're going to go and open up that message and exploit your Wii right now. So I'm going to transfer right over to my Wii. Okay, so now that we're on our Wii, let's go over to the messages. And the message should show up either uh, on the day that you do the um, letter bomb exploit or the day before. Um, it, it's based on time zones, really. It could have showed up two weeks before also. That's a glitch I've seen a couple times. But uh, here it is. This is what it looks like. It's a bomb and a letter. It looks a little daunting, but it's completely safe. So go ahead and press A. And it basically uh, boots up the elf image that's on there. Okay, so what you want to do is uh, install the homebrew channel and then boot me. So go ahead and install the homebrew channel by clicking yes, continue. It's going to take a couple seconds then go to boot me and this is important do not install it as iOS do not make sure you install it as boot too that's important success so now we can return to the main menu and exit out because we have installed boot me and the homebrew uh, channel and this is what the homebrew channel looks like as you can see you have a few apps already on here that I've included in the package we need these so we're going to run a few right off the bat and get those out of the way. The first one is the iOS 236 installer. If you want to know more about what how iOS's work and what exactly they do, check out the description. Like I said, uh, I didn't want to go over it in the video. It's it's just too much. It's a mouthful and it's not really that important. So just roll with me on this. Right. So now that the 230 iOS 236 is installed, you can go ahead and delete that because uh, you'll never need it again. Or rather, it went, now that the 236 is patched. And now we need to, uh, let's see what's next. I guess we can install our, our WADs. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, WADs are another thing I've included in the, in the description below that they, they kind of shows you what those are. So go to WAD Manager and uh, press the dot dot, press A on the dot dot, that'll take you out of this folder and uh, we can just go ahead and install everything within the WAD folder because all of those WADs are, are necessary. So just press the plus sign on your on your controller to select the entire folder and it'll bring you to this screen and show you that they've all been selected and then press A to proceed. Alright so the WADs have been installed so just press any button to continue and back out of this uh, and now press home to go back to the homebrew menu. Okay, so you can go ahead and uh, keep Multimod Manager because you may need it in the future if you want to install WADs later on because uh, there are some pretty useful WADs out there. Once again, description will show you what those are. Okay, WeFlow, we're not going to get into that right now. In my next video, I'm going to show you how to uh, play games off of a USB drive using WeFlow. Preloader, let's go ahead and install that. Let's load it right up. Uh, press the plus sign to install it. Mine is already actually installed, so it was much faster, but yours may take about five minutes. It just depends. Okay, so now you have, that you have preloader installed, go ahead and delete it. And, uh,. Because that was just the installer, so you might as well delete that. This simple iOS patcher, it just does the job of the I, uh, iOS 236 patcher we had, so we can just delete that. That was like an alternative, basically. Uh, Hack me installer, you might as well keep that. This basically launches what the letter bomb exploit launched, uh, and it'll let you uninstall the homebrew channel and boot me if you ever don't want that anymore, if you ever want to unmod your Wii, so to speak. So just keep that, just just in, just in case for the future, you know. And uh, all this you want to keep. So let's press the home button to go uh, back to our Wii's home screen. <clears throat> okay. 
Okay, so this is the Wii home screen. As you can see, you now have two new channels. The USB loader channel, <clears throat> which allows you to play games off of uh, your USB loader, uh, aka uh, Wii Flow. This basically just launches uh, Wii Flow and nothing else to it. And this launches the homebrew channel, obviously. <clears throat> now, if we um, hold down reset on our Wii for four seconds, then we'll be brought to preloader, and I'm going to go ahead and do that. That way we can set up a system menu hacks. So, hang on a, a moment. This is the uh, preloader menu. <clears throat> and we want to go down to uh, system menu hacks. And uh, basically enable all of the ones I've enabled here. Um, region free everything. Block disk updates, which is a safety measure. Uh, remove no copy save file protection. Um, auto press A at health screen. That basically gets you away from that because the health screen is really annoying. Why do they even have that? Move disk channel. Block online updates. And replace health... Uh, uh, S, yeah, okay, that, that's kind of weird. It's supposed to replace the health screen with a black screen, but for some reason, save settings is like layered over it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and save settings and get out of here. And uh, <clears throat> another thing you want to do is go to, um, let's see, S not set password, not that. Go to settings, uh, Auto boot, you can change this to your homebrew channel. That way your Wii automatically boots to the homebrew channel. I'm going to go ahead and do that because I prefer that. And there's tons of other settings you can mess with, but I'm going to go ahead and just do those two. Return to the... Let's go to boot me now. Click on boot me iOS. Okay. And this basically uh, is a is, is the software that allows you to uh, back up your NAND and it has a couple of other features, but it, mostly it's just for backing up your NAND. And we're going to go ahead and back up our NAND right now. This is basically a safety precaution, uh, just just in case for the, like you know the future, if we ever need to, uh, if we ever have an emergency. So we're going to go ahead and back up our NAND. If you don't know what what a NAND is, um, I've also included that in the description. So check that out. Now this boot me thing is kind of uh, kind of wonky. In order to navigate it, you can use a GameCube controller or you can use the power and reset buttons on your Wii. Now, I know that sounds weird, but you basically press the power button to move over uh, one of these four knobs and then the reset button to select them. So just press the, the power button three times to move over the, co the configure one. And I actually have to walk over and do that, so uh, hang on a second. Okay, now we're going to be reading from the NAND and putting onto our SD card, so select the first one using reset. And it's going to be backing up our NAND, and this actually takes a very long time. Um, I mean, I'd say it takes between 5 and 10 minutes, probably. So I'm definitely going to cut this part of the video uh, basically all the way to the end, so uh, see you then. Alright, I'm going to start back up right here. It's verifying my NAND backup, but I don't really care to do that because I already have a backup. But in your case, you are going to want to finish verifying. So just let this run until it's done verifying the backup. Uh, if you get any bad blocks, that's not a bad thing. Those are actually co uh, quite common, so don't worry about it. And uh, once, you ha once this is done and it's verified, just uh, restart your Wii. And take the SD card out, plug it into your computer, and the files you need to back up to your computer, save them somewhere on your computer for future reference if you ever need them, uh, is you need to take the boot me folder, 